isisgadzilla.org and tonight we have an exclusive we have the Nokia E71 uh, I'd like to thank Overseas Electronics for getting me the review E61 as quickly as possible uh, so today it's an unboxing um, kind of different just because we're so excited about getting the device in and uh, people are really looking uh, forward to the to the E71 um, there's a couple different variants there's the E71 dash 1, dash 2, and dash 3 um, really, if you're in the U.S., you're only really concerned, uh, let me paraphrase that, if you're in the U.S. and you're on at t you really only want to get the E71-2, that's the 850, 1900 band for UMTS, so that'll be a 3G enabled uh, E71. For the review device, this is the E71-1, this is the, uh, I think, 1900 and 2100 band UMTS. So here we have the E71. Now for sanity's sake, I got it earlier today, I just had to turn it on. So the battery's already in there and I already put my SIM in there. Um, I'm on AT&T by the way, so um, since it's only 900 and uh, 2100 for UMTS, but it's also 850, uh, 900, 1900 on GSM. So it's edge right now and that's all, that's all I'll ever get on it. So. In the box you have the standard headphone, uh, standard charger, because um, it's a European device, they're not going to throw in any adapters uh, for charging. On the other side of the box, what do we got here? Uh, the standard USB cable typically comes with most Nokia devices. It's a cool little case here. Uh, it doesn't have a belt clip or anything, but there's a little uh, strap here, obviously for the phone. So. Pretty nice. And on the bottom, the standard manuals and everything else, um, CD, etc. Nothing terribly exciting. But I'm sure everyone wants to actually look at the E71. That's that's what really this is all about. So this is it. Um, this is the uh, black uh, slash graphite version. I don't know the name's been floating around a lot. Um, the back is kind of textured. That's kind of neat. It's not rubberized. But it's kind of, this is all metal, you know, the whole case is metal. So there's a little, like, there's some little dimples on the back here. That's what this graphite kind of surface looks like. It's not graphite, though. On the back, you have the 3.2 megapixel camera. I don't know if you can kind of make out that. And a mirror, etc. Front, this is where the action happens. And very, very, very cool looking device. Um, I've used all the E61 and the E61i series. I've had them all, and um, you know this is obviously extremely smaller, and people are a lot more excited about this form factor uh, for the E series QWERTY style phone. Um, on the let's take a look at some of the buttons here. On the right side, we have the volume rockers. Uh, these aren't rubberized, but they're nice and raised plastic. Um, we have the headphone jack there. The bottom. This is. Probably the external GPS antenna connector. It's pretty recessed in there, but I bet you that's what it is. Uh, and then on the left side, these are rubberized covers uh, for micro SD. And in this version, which I didn't see on the box, but it's probably for maps, Nokia maps, there's a 2 gig micro SD already installed. That's pretty cool. And the USB port. And the battery case really just pops off. There's these two buttons right here, one on either side. So. On that note, let's power it up. Well, like I said, I already powered this guy on earlier tonight, so my SIM's already in there, it's already activated, etc. Um, on the bottom here, we have a mic hole. So while we're waiting for that to spin up, I'll just kind of flip it around so you can kind of take a look at how thin it really is. It's pretty, pretty thin. Um, you know, hold it up to other devices, uh, it's definitely uh, kind of blows away a lot of devices when it comes to the form factor. At least when we're talking thin devices, excuse me. So wait for, wait for this to spin up. Uh, check out Gadzilla.org. In the next couple days, I'll write uh, some more. I'll write a full review, tons of pictures. Uh, I'll try to get some pictures of the keyboard at night. Uh, it's got a nice. It's all. It's a white light. Uh, the center. The center jog dial here glows. It's got like a little heartbeat that glows. Think like MacBooks where they kind of glow where they're on. I'm not sure if that's configurable, but I bet you someone will have some. Uh, Symbian app or hack that'll probably enable that for message notification or 
stuff like that. If not, someone listening, take note and go ahead and make that. Um, so good. And here's the screen. Uh, I changed the screen. I changed the uh, the screen to the active standby uh, screen or active display. Excuse me. Uh, I use the device a little. Download a couple podcasts and then ran a couple videos on it really fast um, from a performance and just overall very 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 snappy. Like I said, the device has a built-in built-in GPS. Uh, well, I didn't say that, but it's got built-in maps. Let's just quickly load maps. I'm inside, but you'll just see how fast it spins up. I mean, that's crazy fast because I've seen that on, um, you know, if you look at on my N95, it's there's no comparison. It, it takes an extremely long time for that to load up. Um, so that's it. I really just wanted to do the unboxing, just kind of show you the device really quickly because I know people are kind of looking to just see uh, what it looks like and what the box looks like and really people are just kind of anxious to get their hands on it. So again, this is the Nokia E71. Uh, I'd like to thank Overseas Electronics uh, for getting me the review. I'll post a link on the unboxing uh, video so you can go check it out. Uh, those guys over there could could get you this version and possibly the, uh, the NAM version, the E71-2 version, probably quicker than most people. So go support them and go check them out. Again, this is Godzilla.org and come back later later this week for unboxing pictures. If you have any questions or uh, any uh, things you want me to test on the device, I'll have it for a couple days. Uh, post them in the forums and uh, I'll try to help you out. Again, this is Godzilla.org and this is Nokia E71. Thanks.